Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barnon11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my channel. Um, those of you who've been watching my channel for a while know that, especially in the past couple of months or so, uh, my perception has increased dramatically to the point where I cannot watch movies now without getting these aha epiphany moments of seeing the symbolism behind the hidden meanings, which most people will just see as regular entertainment. Um, I was watching um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I just bought it on Amazon. And I found some very interesting situations. Um, basically, you know how I talk about the fact that we are light beings. Now, the way I could say that is because if you look at everything in creation, everything is made from atoms, which is basically electricity. It's energy. And the, without giving any spoilers for this movie, because I know it just recently came out, and so if you haven't seen it, but uh, the main character, his name is Star Lord. And at the end of the movie, there's three references that have to do with light when it comes to him. And then when I saw him in that pattern, it just, it clicked for me. And there's a couple other things I want to talk about. Um, it, this is near the end of the movie. Um, he hears a voice of his mother who passed on earlier in the movie. And there's a note that says, you are my light. You are my son. You are my star Lord. So you think of light. That's why I always say about enlightenment and the, um, you are my son. Now you would, most people would assume that means her son S O N. Well, it could also mean, S U N taking it phonetically. And then the third is my star Lord. What is a star? Well, it's a sun. What is a sun? It's light. So there's three references to light. You have, you are my light. You are my sun. You are my star Lord. So three of them. Now you'll also notice in this, um, movie, one of the planets that they are on, there's a couple of different planets they're on, but one of the main planets they keep going back to, um, has three suns. Now, they even have the symbol of the three suns, which actually is the same symbol. If you ever watch the movie um, Stargate, they show the planet Earth. It's like a pyramid with the suns. Well, this one is upside down. So is there a similarity with that? I'm not sure about that. But what I thought about, and you know this throughout history, this will make sense of people that follow this stuff. To me, the three suns, what I thought of was Orion's belt. Now, a lot of people have said our potential history of where we came from, potentially. Now, obviously, I can't prove this. A lot of people have said in several different videos and several different books and things like that, that we could potentially come from Orion's belt. So that would be the three suns. That's what came into my mind. The other thing that I noticed in this movie and the symbolism is incredible how I could perceive it. Now, I'm not guaranteeing this is right or anything. It's just what I feel is right. You could resonate with it. You may not. I'm not worried about the people who don't resonate it. Uh, but one of the main characters, his name is Rocket Rac uh, Raccoon. And he's actually a regular raccoon that was modified. They said they illegally, somebody illegally did experiments and took what they, can, they called it. They didn't say the raccoon. They said a lesser species and upgraded it. Now, remember just a couple of days ago, I made a video, actually, what was it, two days ago, talking about how we went from cavemen to modern man without any kind of in-between, and I was suggesting what if someone or something came along and enhanced our DNA? Well, here they're talking about the reason why this raccoon became intelligent is because it was once a regular raccoon somebody manipulated it enhanced it and it became a tunk a talking living conscious self-aware being now one of the things you'll notice a repeat thing um when it comes to several different movies and i'm sure there's more than these just these three examples um where we're referred to by higher beings as monkeys now if you ever saw the movie prophecy uh, Gabriel refers to humans as talking monkeys. 
the movie I was talking about the other day about the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. Well, where did we come from? We supposedly came from apes. Planet of the Apes. Maybe they're referring to us. I mean, you can go back as far as the Wizard of Oz, when the uh, Wicked Witch of the West, what were her soldiers to do her bidding? Well, they were flying monkeys, weren't they? So maybe the whole talking about the raccoon and how they took it from just a regular creature and enhanced it into a living conscious being with self-awareness and intelligence, what if that's rarely referring to us talking monkeys? Because if we came from cavemen and before that we came before that we came as apes, and then all of a sudden someone or something could have potentially come along and enhanced us, that would seem to make sense, wouldn't it? Now, of course, like I said, I'm not guaranteeing this. I'm not saying this is the truth. I don't know. I'm just basing it on what I feel. When I got all this stuff, it just comes to me. It feels right. Now, that doesn't mean it is right. But I'm sure some of you who research this kind of stuff, you might see what I'm talking about and say, wow, that kind of makes sense. Because especially when you're talking about the three sons, because they specifically make sure you notice that. In that movie. And to me, the only three sons that would be relevant to me would be Orion's belt. And then, like I said, at the end of the movie, there were three references to light regarding this gentleman, who was the only person from Earth which they named Terra. My light, my son, my Star Lord. Always reverting to the fact that he is basically saying that you're light. So that's basically it. I'm not going to make this a very long video. I want to see what people think about this. Like I said, guys, I'm at the point now when I watch movies, uh, it just, it just, it was almost automatic at this point. And I love it because it's amazing. It's kind of peaceful. It's, it's like a way of answering your own questions. And uh, whether it resonates with anybody else, I can't control that, nor am I going to try to. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who will find this stuff utterly ridiculous. I'm not worried about other people's judgments because if they can't see things, that's not my concern. This is for the people, the very few people that will understand this who are at a different level than some other people. And uh, what you do with it is up to you. You could take this as pure entertainment or you could take this as something that could have some potential meaning. I don't know. But I was meant to, as soon as I got all this stuff, I, I just had this need to make this video. So what happens from it, who knows? But I don't regret anything I do, and I hope you don't either. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you appreciate these kind of things, uh, hit the like button, hit the favor, share. It always helps. Post it on your social networks. That also gets my information out. And if this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen, we'd love for you to hit the subscribe button. So click that somewhere below and join the Barnon Nation. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.